All right, this is absolutely incredible. According to the World Health Organization, about 285 million people globally suffer from some sort of visual impairment. But there is hope, and it's in the form of a new kind of eye drops called nano drops that could eliminate the need for glasses, contacts, or corrective surgery. Even. Something that I had not that long ago, so this would have been good to know about. Joining us now <laughs> around the table to talk about it, Dr. Sabrina Fabi. Uh, tell us what these nano drops are and, and how they work. Right, so this is a technology that was developed in Israel uh, and are, is still an experimental uh, with animals presently. And so basically what we see is that people usually have some type of vision problem. 75% of Americans have some type of visual problem, um, whether it's nearsightedness, farsightedness, or something that comes with age called presbyopia, where we're not able to necessarily read close any longer, usually in our 40s and 50s. And so the thought with this particular drop is that you can actually, from your iPhone, there's going to be an app that can measure the refractive index, basically the way that light enters and bends when it enters your eye. That's what puts focus or gives focus to whatever it may be that you're seeing. And so through this app, it will actually then connect a little laser that can create little beams or holes. Oh my God on your cornea, which is the very top protective layer of the eyeball, and then you can apply these nano drops that will permeate through. Okay, hang on a second. I gotta yeah, know. this is crazy. Talking about basically doing like eye surgery on yourself is what it feels like you're talking about. Right, if they, if they can get that far, yeah. but that's exactly yeah. how they're seeing it. It's not like the laser treatments that we presently see that you have to go in and actually get done. This is something that they hope will actually be able to do right from your own phone. As if your phone is then using some type of light laser and you hold it up to your eye? Right, so then the app would basically determine how much correction you need to bend that light so that you can see things in better focus and then be able to stamp, create a little stamp on the top layer of your eyeball, the cornea, so that when you apply the drops, it enters and now you can see a little bit better. This feels like something you were talking about like way in the future, one day in the 22nd century, we're gonna be able to, I mean, this is how, how long out are we talking? Well, pro we're probably looking at at least 10 years okay. until it goes into uh, actual human clinical trials. But I always like to bring things that sure. are at the forefront in the future because this is the direction that we're going in. Eye problems and eyesight problems are a huge problem yeah. globally. And we don't have access to healthcare just everywhere, right? right. And so this is something that's gonna be able to meet that need for millions of people all it, around the world. It also speaks to what else is coming down the pipeline, especially with our phones. I mean, that is absolutely incredible. And you know, I, losing your eyesight is the most frustrating thing there yeah, is. That number almost sounds low. 285 million people have visual impairment. I mean, that, what kind of impairment are we talking about? Is it a severe impairment? Right, well, 49 million of those people are actually blind, okay? okay? And then the 246 million either have this nearsightedness, farsightedness, or this presbyopia that comes with age. Very interesting. Well, need to hear more about again, this. appreciate yeah. you telling us what's down the pipe because uh, certainly it's, it's pretty wild to think that far ahead and seems like a long way down the road, but perhaps like you said, it may not right. be that far down the and road. And something that can make us not necessarily need contact lenses oh. or glasses right. anymore. Mm -hmm. I think that yeah. that's something that's going to appeal to many. Absolutely. Certainly. All right, Dr. Fabi, thank you so much as always.